Madrid. Game on. Bray is told to stay right there. And here to help us introduce Carolina will be at home, and here we go in the BCS championship. Marshall with the read option, hands it to Mason on the first down, and they gash a big hole against the no. Lewis in motion, and again, it is Mason, and this time, he stopped by Auburn and the trigger man Nick Marshall holds the key tonight to having Auburn having a big night offensively not just running but decision making on those reads Mason in the backfield gets it again three consecutive carries and this is going to bring up a third and long so we have our initial timeout of the game and facing a third and seven it is Auburn Showing some early jitters here on the first series. And a good call here by Gus Malzahn with all the jitters and all the buildup and hype of this game. Up to 25 passes. Also in that backfield now as Corey Grant has checked in. Play action. Deep wide open. And dropped at the 30-yard line by Ricardo Lewis. He was wide open on the secondary bust by the nose. And you can see miscommunication right here with Terrence Brooks. He and Telvin Smith are covering the same man. And prior to the snap, Telvin Smith is turning to Terrence Brooks and trying to get him out on the outside of the slot receiver. Nobody recovers Lewis. And I don't know if he... Shaw, Kenny Shaw, awaits Stephen Clark's punt. Fair catch. Yeah, at about the 23-yard line. Michael Vick in Virginia Tech in New Orleans. Bobby Bowden's second national championship, and it was something that night. Dante Freeman busts to daylight. To the 45-yard line on their first possession. 22 yards for Devontae. Watch Trey Jackson, 54, climb up to the linebacker on McKin McKenzie. Does a great job there as far as climbing up to that second level. Florida State's confident in their offensive line and what they can do running the football against an undersized front seven from Auburn. Jameis snaps off his first pass to Green for still another first down, and they barge into Auburn territory in the backfield. Jimbo Fisher calling the plays. And then try to confuse the young quarterback. Now they're playing a little bit more press here on this play. Shaw. And Shaw is short of the 40. Coverage. Wilder is the running back right to Winston's left. They show blitz, and there's a penalty flag on it. I think the right guard may have moved there, Brent. Full start. Offense number 54. Five yard penalty still stays on. That's who it was, Herbie. A dangerous receiver. He stays in the block, however, and Winston throws downfield wide open. He's green and out of bounds. First down as the defensive back appeared to go down on the play. Yeah, not the same, same defensive back dropped, and it was Chris Davis. Good job by Florida State here on third down. This is a big question. Could they protect Winston? You can see a wide open Rashad Green, but watch Davis here. He's dropping back, changes direction, goes down again. The second time on this series alone that Chris Davis has lost his footing, and he may want to change his cleats. Carlos Williams checks in as the tailback, and he'll get the carry here. Breaks that first tackle, and he is down. Winston, end zone a little too high that time, and it will be third. Things up into the interior of that defense. Freeman is in as the running back. He slips out as a safety valve. Winston keeps it nowhere to go. 
Knicks had no one to throw the ball to. Aguayo, 19 of 20, make a 20 of 21 on the year. The Lou Groza Award. The young man who ran 109 yards for the missed field goal against Alabama. This is Bray. Bray will come out. 10. And stumbles down at the. So from the 22 yard line, the toss play to Mason, trying to get the edge. And Mason out to the on offense and how they can attack you in so many different ways. I would agree with that. Not much doing there on that second. He's trying to avoid tonight, maintaining that aggressiveness. Again, Mason. Battling for the first down. Tempo. Marshall checking the sideline with the coaches. Has the change delivered to the offensive line. Deflected quick throw to the outside. Get this ball snapped before Florida State can adjust. Marshall steps away from Edwards, but not the second time. And the team has a penalty flag thrown on top of it. This could be intentional grounding. I don't think he got it back to the line of scrimmage. It was a relentless pursuit of Edwards. Yeah, they, they are getting in there quickly. Boy, Mario Edwards has had a great year. He's relentless in his pass rush. And clearly, this was a intentional grounding. Nobody picked up Mario Edwards. I thought he might recognize Corey Grant in the left flat. He was what? Third and 14 as a result of that penalty. Straight down the middle, grab for a first down at the 40. Velocity to squeeze it in there. What a throw. Big conversion. Mason. And he is swallowed. Need to go again. Prosh is the fullback. And he's a good one. Here comes Mason. And I, the Florida State are pretty happy about that also. Look up here. Nobody will cover the slot receiver at the top. Mason. Goes incomplete. They're into Florida State territory with the fourth down. And they're going to go ahead and boom it. And this ball backs up on the one-yard line. What a punt by Stephen Clark. From up and down to New Orleans. Wilder now the running back. Coming out from their own two-yard line. Winston's going to fire it incomplete. And it is second. With the noise down there, Winston has moved up under center. Takes a direct snap. And Wilder is stuffed by the middle of Auburn's defense. Auburn determined to get heat on the Heisman Trophy winner. Snaps it off. Benjamin incomplete. It's 6-5, but he broke on the ball early and made the play. Casey Beatty from his end zone. Chris Davis awaits. He's got to return. Right up the middle, up the gut. To the 24-yard line where it's still the direct snap. And off to Lewis on the outside. And he is out of bounds and eight. Mason dancing. To the 19-yard line and Brooks again. Marshall fires again for another first down at the 13 yards. Four of six for 41 yards here in the early going. Now he keeps it. Broke the first tackle and still going. The second down and nine. In zone. Incomplete. That was a jump ball and just knock it down. Now it's on calling the play after seeing the personnel and uh, what Florida State had on the field.
Drops it off to Mason. End zone, our first touchdown. Trey Mason hits pay dirt for Auburn. Now they will switch back into their regular kicking formation. And this is Cody Parkey who will kick this. He's a young man from Jupiter, Florida. Broke all the high school records down in that town, not far from West Palm Beach. And Parkey nails the extra point. It was third and nine, Herbie. Yeah, they capitalized on Florida State. Telvin Smith in the middle of the screen goes over to the right with Jay Prosh. It left nobody back to the left. Third down, again, a bust here by Florida State. But this time, Nick Marshall and Auburn able to take advantage of it and get the ball into the end zone. We're going to hit the nose in the mouth, and we're going to see how they respond. And here we are. Whitfield going to take a knee, and it'll be up to Jameis Winston, running back alongside Jameis. Freeman was able to battle through that option like that from Gabe Wright. And here comes Winston on an option. And he is brought down. With the front and with the coverage. Again, it's Winston under forward pressure. And down he goes with a sack. How important it is for their defensive ends. He's right here. He doesn't bite on that at all. In fact, he gets in there so quickly. First touchdown for Auburn. They ran into Beatty. There's the flag. If it's running into the punter, it won't be enough to give him a first down. But if it's a personal foul, it'll be automatic. Personal foul. Yeah. That's in the kicker. Defense number 23. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Rough the punter here and commit the personal foul. You can take a look at it. Comes right, right there. Comes right up the middle. Brent tries to put his right hand there, tries to hit his spot, but he runs right into him and roughs him. And, and this, it be down on two third down sacks. Williams the slips out of the backfield. He with a reception. He really has to take this game over for Winston. And he'll run into a gap, and the linebackers close quick. O'Leary tried to slip out. Winston goes the other side, and it was deflected by Davis. Davis on green. So from behind Beatty, Davis is now standing back on the Auburn 17-yard line. So they're going to flip field position after that penalty, if nothing else. Booms it high. Fair catch by Davis at the 15-yard line. And next to watch the safeties. That's how they set up. First down and 10. Breaking free is Mason. And he wants a penalty, Herbie. There's enough evidence in those replays to show them that he, in fact, is down. Let's move on. Let me tell you about Tom. He makes quick decisions, but that time he wanted one more the look. <laughs> the last okay. second. I tell you, he got it down there and said, hold on here, John. Let's take, a, let's take another look at this, okay? In a bigger story for Jimbo Fisher's defense, that's the first ruling on the field was the ball came loose before the, the runner was down before the ball came out. That ruling is under further review. He's an outstanding center. And he brings Marshall up to the line and they pitch it to the outside and nothing doing as Corey Grant was taken down by Brooks. By Brooks being in position and then making the open play in space. And now there is a penalty flag. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, 20, defense, 15 yards from the end of the line, automatic first down. That's LaMarcus Joyner, one of their leaders. And Brent, he took a wide receiver from Auburn all the way to the sideline, and, and he's a leader. He's got to be very careful. Look at the top, right in here in the middle. He starts to take a swing there. They're out of bounds. A little bit of a push, a little bit of a flop by Reed, but I think it as they do here. Play action. Fire wide open in the middle. In a foot race is Melvin Ray. Touchdown, Auburn. A 50-yard strike. And again, Gus Melzahn has found a wide open tendency, and they get the ball behind the coverage to Melvin Ray. Cody Parkey. Tacks on the extra point. 85 yards. 
Three plays for Auburn of the SEC. And Corey Grant is right here for 30 days. They've heard when 20 comes in, get ready for this and get ready for the running game. Here's Ray who gets behind him. But watch the Florida State linebackers. They get lulled to sleep right here. They're so caught up in the running game, they lose track of what can happen behind them. And that's an easy throw for Nick Marshall. Well executed for the Auburn Tiger offense. And they right now have this Knowles defense on its heels and confused. Some folks who love the favorite, they're a little uneasy right now. Whitfield is back deep. And he's going to come out to the 21 yard line. They've got some talented freshmen on this team. First down, Winston. Fires for Shaw, incomplete, and the safe showing pressure. They back out of it, four-man rush. Okay. Winston high and incomplete. They side and there as they shift and they draw a false start. They pick up five Four more seven. yards. Offense number 35. Just a basic Offense shift. Going to run Freeman on a sweep. Big hole, but he's down short of the first down at the 26 to make Florida State play in the fourth quarter. That might happen. They said the Florida State thinks this game is a three-quarter game. We're going to make them play the entire distance. And they're delivering a message here early. With Mason back in as the running back. Marshall keeps it, and Edwards hits him immediately for a loss. In throwing so far for over 100 yards. Prosh is his tough fullback off to the left. Draw play with Mason. Right side, daylight, midfield, first down, Auburn. By the freshman, Jalen Ramsey gave him the first. Ready to go again. Marshall keeps it. He finds a crease. Pick up there in a coach's booth. Play action. Fires too high and incomplete. And his was getting the call back out to Nick Marshall. Third down and two. Marshall keeps it, an easy first down, and he's pushed out of bounds hard on that far side by Lee together. First down and 10. Here comes Mason. A punishing run six times. Marshall keeps it, runs away from Edwards, who catches him from behind. And institutions are onto the field. When you work against the hurry up, that's what you look for. And Mason batters alone up at the top. They love him when he gets in one on one coverage. He's up against PJ Williams. Lewis, the motion, and there was a flag prior to the snap. The line judge coming over to uh, tell John O'Neill what the uh, problem is here. Encroachment number one offense lined up in the neutral zone. Five yard penalty, still first down. That is rack. We're seeing Marshall throw the ball as we've seen earlier this year when teams have loaded up against the run. There's Mason on that draw. Marshall, far side incomplete, and this will 13 yard line here for a first down. Marshall. Runs away from the pressure on the move. Now he's got to keep it. He knew he was across that now. So here's Parky. Uh-oh, outside. Misses the 33-yard attempt. No good. Florida State. The Knowles have been held to 78 yards here in the first half. Freeman with the handoff on first down. Whipping the Knowles up front in the trenches. Here they are again moving late. In trouble. Fumble. Loose ball. Battle for it. Auburn says they've got it and they do. We just talked about how they're getting beat up front, Brent. And because of the confusion, both guys involved there. The ball clearly out. Recovered there by the linebacker, Anthony Swain, who is coming on the blitz. Mason picks his way to the... It. Again, they got to him that time. Straight ahead. And this will bring up a third down. Snow groups coming in. Marshall. 
Great grab here. Offensive guards, Slade and Kozan holding the fort. Mason picks his way behind them. Mason. Coming back with the quarterback. Yeah, he crosses the power. Fultz is the tight end, number 11. We're going to run away from him. No, Marshall keeps it as he did against Missouri. And he walks in. Who amongst you thought that Auburn could perhaps blow Florida State out? I don't know anybody who thought that was possible. Now Parkey settles his nerves after missing that field goal. Got it right back on the Winston turnover that yeah. set this up. That's right. You got to go back to an opportunity presented by this Auburn defense. They've been playing well all night. They got pressure. They brought in late. Jameis Winston, that offensive line, confused. Winston trying to make something happen. The ball comes out. Those Tigers, that Tiger defense is all over it. And then it sets up Nick Marshall in this offense. And you get so concerned with the interior run. And all he does is read it and then follow those two big H-backs to the outside and then has the speed to outrun Telvin Smith to get to the corner of the end zone. And they are up 21 to 3. Now Gus Melzahn celebrating still another touchdown. He likes to say, boom, and two for the Tigers. But we still got a long way to go. There's still a lot of talent out here, so hang on now. Whitfield looking to give him a spark, and he's dangerous on the return. 25, 30, and slipped. Brad, glad you brought that. Most talented defensive front by far. They are forcing one mistake after another against the Knowles. And there's... And they come back with a running play with Williams, a converted safety. And it's an area that they have made a living this year against defenses. And Jimbo Fisher wants to keep it on the ground with Williams to the floor. And this time he will throw again. Drop. So just when they get a receiving. A fake. And they bring an end around off of it, and they're going to get a first down with Williams. So looking for something to happen, Jimbo Fisher whistles up the fake punt. And let's see if that gives his team a lift. Brent, I'm with you. I think they're looking for something to try to spark their team. Here he is out here. This is deep in their own territory. You imagine if this did not work out, but they catch him at the right time, and Williams has the speed to get around the corner and pick up the first down. But a gutsy call there by Jimbo Fisher. On fourth and four. Winston now firing complete to the 40. So the big four of receivers are out there for Winston. It's a run play all the way. And he picked ball is at the Auburn 40 yard line. Complete. And he hits. Wide receiver green ball at the 27 yard line. Running play with Freeman and Frost. Defense inside of a couple of minutes here in the first half. Winston in trouble. Now he throws it downfield, deflected incomplete. I know you, and we're down to 143. Takes off. Slips a tackle. 10, 5, out of bounds. First down and goal. Ryan White saves a touchdown on the play, but it is first and goal for the Knowles. They brought pressure, and there's nobody left underneath in man-to-man -man coverage. They lost their eyes because of the man-to-man. -man. They lost Jameis Winston with their backs turned, running with the receivers. And Winston, for a big guy, hit 6'4", about 230 pounds, making get the ball to start the second half as well. Freeman, touchdown, Florida State. 
what they needed and remember what it came off. A fake punt on fourth and four kept it alive. And who knows, that could be a game-saving drop. To the end zone. Aguayo. That ruling is under further review. So they're going to take another look at it here upstairs in instant replay. I didn't think watching it live that there was much much of a question, but uh, let's take another look and see and make sure that uh, Devante got across the plane before the knees down. I, th I think it was back about three yards where his knee right there, but a little further back. I mean, it, it's a touchdown, but uh, I think that's what they might be taking a look at. Made into the first half. Ruling on the previous play of touchdown is confirmed. Jimbo continuing to coach up his freshman, who after that fake punt, led his best drive of the night. Winston, 6 of 15 for 62 yards. And Aguayo attacks on the extra point. Go back to what you've been talking about, Brent. Fourth and four, look in their own territory. Carlos Williams gets just enough with his speed to the corner to pick it up. And at Jameis Winston, a big play here as they blitz him. They've had success doing that. A little stiff arm, a little move in the open field. Florida State's deep inside Auburn territory, and they capitalize. 11 plays and 66 yards, a touchdown. Changes the complexion of the game, and also, Brent, it gives this young quarterback and this young offense some confidence that they can move the ball against Auburn. Sigh of relief. <laughs> as much as any. Auburn. This is going to be taken by Bray at the goal line. Breaks it out. Nice return to about the <laughs> first down and ten. Mason. Mason is out. The team. Mason again. Second timeout charge to Florida State. You know, They're second. With a quarterback. And score their only touchdown. Marshall going to go deep, going to go for it all, and it's going to be incomplete. So Clark's punt. Here they come, and he gets it off. Shaw is going to let it bounce. Stay away from it. As the first half comes to an end, and folks, the first half is a story because for the first time this season, Florida State trails at halftime. Let's go down to and away we go. Taking a knee, the ball will come out of the 25. We check the quarterback. And they start with Devontae Williams. So they want to muscle up and see if they can get a little pressure. But they have a long way to go, maintain their poise, and they've got to run the football. Blitz works. The blitz was called by Ellis Johnson tonight. Here he is on third down. Under pressure. Hit on the release. And it's wildly incomplete. And deep for this punt. Beatty hangs it high. Fair catch is the signal. Fumble! And Davis dives on it. Marshall hands it off here on first down to the fourth. Needs seven yards. Going to throw off the play action. Middle. Complete for a first down. The middle has been open. Exploits it again. And it's the reason. Look at the linebackers. They're so caught up in the run game that it opens up one on one and they come back to the middle where the vacancy is in that defense. Quick pitch to the outside and Gray stumbling. Beats the first tackler and winds up picking up. Defensive back. Going back to his high school quarterback days at J.C. Firing deep toward the end zone. Incomplete and no penalty flag is thrown. No Play action. Looking to go down the middle. And he's got it again. Penalty flag was thrown over on the far side around the 40. Back by the line of scrimmage. It was Coates again. 
Yeah. And a holding call. 18. And Marshall, that flanker screen, and uh, I should say split in screen for the Knowles, standing back on their 10 yard line. The punting game has been critical here tonight. Shaw with the fair catch inside the 10. Puts four defensive linemen ready to go. And it'll be Williams. And he's brought down at the first half where they came up with that drive to score. Freeman is now the running back in pass protection. And it's Green who sat down underneath for the first down at the 25-yard line. Ryan Smith with the stop. More pressure, more blitzing from those linebackers. This time he sits in there, faces that pressure, makes the throw. You know, Rashad Green is the only Florida State receiver right now with reception for positive yards. Benjamin doesn't have a catch. Shaw has a catch, but it's for negative yards. So Green's the only one making plays so far. Here comes Freeman, but there was a penalty flag on the play. Full start. Offense number one. Five-yard penalty, still first down. So throws to get the ball out of his hands quick. Auburn rushes four again. It's complete, and that is Benjamin's first reception of the develop. Get the ball out of his hands quicker. On second down, complete, and that is Rashad Green on the way. Oh, it's first down and ten. Winston keeps it. Out to the 40. Abram gets the carry. Yeah, tight coverage from these corners now from Auburn. Gonna put it up on first down. Benjamin reaches and makes the grab. Against Mincy, Benjamin's best grab of the night. And the ball is going to be spotted at the 29. Winston held that football as long as he could, trying to get separation from the big fella. He actually tried to look his, the safety in the middle of the field, Ryan Smith, off by looking right to be able to give him a little bit more room to throw the ball. But the much bigger... Benjamin starting to get involved in the Noel attack. Come with the toss play. Devontae Freeman, tough receivers for Florida State. Winston... Incomplete. Auburn shows pressure, but rushes only four. Winston going to take off. He had a big run leading to a touchdown. And he is short of him. From the right hash. What a weapon. Short, high. Kickoff, they want the pooch, fumble! And recovered by Auburn at the 20. Bobbled a punt, and he was able to get the football back. And now this time, it goes right through the arms of Jay Prush, and he's able to jump on top of that. So as good as Auburn has been in special teams, especially with their own punter, Stephen Clark, they've come close to having a few miscues, but Prush jumps back on. Mason moves over. Gets the handoff. And that puts him over 100 yards for this game. Bring motion through. Artis Payne right straight ahead. And stopped by the middle, Timmy Jernigan. One of the best back on the field for this third down. Faking it. Slips it to the outside as an incomplete pass. In the middle on the Wildcat. Shaw's back deep. Fair catch. Ekman is the running back. Gets the call. And he picks his way up to about the... Dig themselves out of bad position there when they started inside their own 10 yards. Second line. down snap for Winston. Dropped. Looked a couple of times tonight. He's frost. In trouble. And that is big number 30. Ben sitting down. At the ivory. It's so well spoken. Oh, oh what a wonderful. He's fun. Yeah. Now, Davis is back deep. No, oh, he screwed up. No question. Auburn. It's the third. Kind of like he was waiting to see whether or not he was going to signal for a fair catch. Yeah. 
Marshall will keep it intact the outside. Breaks a tackle, still going and out of bounds at the 45. He does a good job of helping him, but he's making people miss out there too. And there, Schoenig has stood him up in the hole. Quick pitch to Bray on the outside, and he is down at the full as he will. Marshall fires, grabbed, and then dropped. Terrence Brooks got up. We've only got a minute left. And they're finding the going tough right now. Clark hangs one up, and Shaw wants to get out of the way. It's the ball, remember, not the man. It's been down. It is the running back for Winston. Out of the end zone, a complete to Rashad Green. Of course, he's a Florida State alum down there. <laughs> he probably whistled in a couple of plays. <laughs> There's a handoff now to Wilder. Wilder breaks to daylight. Big first down. At the That's because this defense has every reason to be tired. The offense has not kept the defense off the field here. Oh, mercy. Second down and 10. Wilder again to the 31-yard line up Beavers. Rushing four on Winston. Fires incomplete. Florida State is punter. Jason Beatty from Charlotte, North Carolina. Line drive punt. And a good one. It drove Davis back to the 15, but it's returnable. And he is out to the 26-yard line. Here comes Mason trying to swing left. Good looking runner out to the start to go with the tempo and get up to the line of scrimmage quickly. Mason again busts it to the 40 and a first down. And the jet sweep Bray in trouble. Knowles ready for that. Play fake to him. Far side intercepted. At the 45-yard line, the 26th interception of the year. This one by P.J. Williams. Huge in this. To throw this football. Kind of nonchalance it, just throws it up into coverage. I think you underestimated Williams dropping. You have Jalen Ramsey coming over there to make a big play. That was well covered, and he forced the football. One of the few mistakes Marshall's made this whole game. Big assist on recovering that loose ball. Winston on first down, high, but it is caught by Freeman. He's got about seven yards. Second down and two, and Freeman hammers a big hole to the 31-yard line. First to come, make another tackle. Watch 51, Hart climb up to that second level. You have both the right guard, Trey Jackson and Bobby Hart. Jackson sealed that front initial surge by the defensive line by Gabe Wright, and then it was the right tackle's block, Bobby Hart. First down and 10 for the Knowles. They bring Freeman again. And he's wrestled back. Second down and 10. High, but Benjamin's there. First down at the 11. Freeman is there on first down. Winston going to put it up. Lays it off to Abram. Running for the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. They are two points away from a tie. I, I, you, know, you had Rashad Green cutting to the inside. It opened up Abram. Nobody picked him up to the outside. Ryan Smith is over there late, and he gets into the end zone. There's a penalty flag. It's over on the left hash. So there's a penalty. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number eight on the offense. 15 yards on the try. Wow. So that is Freeman. And that's huge, Brent, because the way the scoring has been going, I'm sure Jimbo Fisher's thinking about going for two to tie this football game up. You're talking about moving it now 15 yards back on the try. Now you really wonder. You're at the 18-yard line. I mean, you seriously considering going for two from the 18-yard line to try to tie this game? What a blunder. A mistake here from Freeman. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're down by two or down by one. You've got to go for two here. Points that have been tough to come by.
So it's a one-point game. It's 21-20, but remember what set it up. It was this interception, but watch the end of it. Williams up in the air. Put it on the ground, recovered by Joyner, and then Abram. For the touchdown. And it's a one-point game. 19 points of this game to pull within one. And now the Heat clearly on Auburn. And Juan Bray takes in the 10 officiating crew. Marshall keeps it. Remember, he threw that costly interception. Marshall throws it far side. Got a man open. And that is Ricardo Lewis. Number five knocked out. Mason is back in as the running back, and his play was stopped. And the, the, the umpire was still standing over the ball. The ball is not ready for play. First down. They come with Mason into the heart of that defense. They give it to Mason on a delay. Big hole on the left side. And he's up over. He gets those linebackers out of position and they pick up blocks. And they're hammering now with Mason. I can't say enough. Second down. Marshall keeps it. 30, 25, and out of bounds. So Marshall moved the chains with that run. And now they come back with the... Hammer the way with Mason again. One thing about Gus Malzahn when you study him, if he's 72. Coming right back, they've come. Let's see if they continue to hammer that soft middle. Here he comes. And... Marshall keeps it, steps outside, and he is thrown down by for Auburn. Under center, rolling to the right. Marshall fires, incomplete high. This is a 23-yarder. Through. And it is now a... Whitfield's coming out. Great return, man. 30, 40, daylight. Green ahead. Got it. Headed for the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. A 100-yard return. And Auburn is stung by its own medicine. Kermit Whitfield, a freshman from Orlando, Florida, has just put Florida State ahead with 4.31 remaining. the point. Perfect snap from Philip Dumar to Jason Beatty. Brent, I tell you, Auburn players, one guy pulled a hamstring. One guy pulled a hamstring and pulled up. That was Dominique Walker. Maybe it was Jonathan Jones. You had another guy get out of his lane. It was a, a tight end that looked like he got out of his lane. Norberg, there's a couple good blocks by Carlos Williams and Chad Abram, but you had an Auburn player that looked like had a cramp to his hamstring and collapsed which opened up that side of the return. Whitfield happened to just be going there. Jimbo's trying to race into the end zone. <laughs> Go. But Brent, one guy gets out of his lane. 
Joseph ends up having a cramp to his hamstring. That entire right side, there's only a couple guys left on that side, and they were both blocked. Herbie Jimbo had his hands full because if you go to the ESPN database and you dial up the 48-yard dash time of the incoming freshman, this year's freshman class, Kermit Whitfield ran a 4-3-7-40. That was the fastest reported of any freshman in college football this year. And you just saw him turn on the afterburners and put the dolls up with 4.30 to go. Gray and Davis are back deep for Auburn. Bulls into their first lead since the opening quarter. Thirty-three, who's right here, he gets out of his lane and watch number three right here. The, D, the defensive back Jones, he, all of a sudden he gets a cramp in his left hamstring or something. Maybe he pulled a hamstring. He goes down. You see the. 33 gets in out of position towards the middle, and it's just two blocks. Abram picked up a block. Carlos Williams picked up a block. You talked about the speed of Whitfield, but a couple of mistakes. First down for the 25-yard line. Marshall. Edwards had him. Slowed him up. And then finally rest. Well. Mason, he's cut off. Christian Jones had him cut. Straight back, Marshall on the move, fires, and it was complete for a first down. Supposed to come clear against Williams, and he makes the throw. Now they hammer with Mason, who twists away. Mason. Marshall checking the Malzahn sideline. Mason hammers right straight ahead for the first. One up the middle to set up other aspects of this offense. Play action. Fires wide open. Complete to Coates at the 33-yard line. Play action behind the linebackers coming up to defend that inside run game. Marshall keeps it. But Joyner was coming, and Joyner able to... Senior defensive back. And it's a second and 16 after the six-yard loss. Mason steps outside, right breaks to daylight. Still going, in zone, touchdown, Auburn. Not quite yet out of miracles. Heck of a run by Trey Mason. He now has 195 yards in this game. And here is Cody Parkey. 119 remaining. And Florida State needs a touchdown. Brent, you know you've been talking about these guards. How about the block right here by Chad Slade, who's going to get up to Telvin Smith. But also, you're going to see the tight end who's out here, Uzama, who's going to come up with a big block right here on LaMarcus Joyner. There's the action. Look at the block by the tight end. Nice job by the guard. And then right here is just leg drive and determination. That's a true freshman, Jalen Ramsey, coming up in run support. And you've got Trey Mason running right through his arm tackle. Bounces off him and into the end zone. That low center gra gravity, the balance that he has, the toughness that he runs with, you better come up with some cruel intentions if you want to knock Trey Mason off the track into the end zone to win the game for the Horns. Swung it around the right side, as I recall. Well, there's the kickoff. And it's from the two-yard line. And this time, the young man is not going 100 yards. And they don't. Benjamin, Rashad Green, and Shaw. Winston goes to work underneath with Green, and Green takes it out of bounds to stop the... You get about seven seconds after a first down before it's reset. 
And Green breaks free. 50, 45. One man with an angle. Got him out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Well, it sure looked like a horse collar there at the end that I thought they may add on to it. How about Green again, Brent? Underneath. Splits the two defenders, Ryan, Ryan Smith and Chris Davis, and then the speed at the end. That's a horse collar for sure that they missed towards the end of that play. 49. Now Winston going to drop it off. Freeman. And he is down to the 17 yard. Mincy, who's at 5'10. Five, five, Mincy backs off a little bit. Vince doesn't look there. Still coming underneath. And the tackle made. In. Winston in the pocket. Fires incomplete. Carl Lawson, the talented five star freshman, is on the field in that defensive front along with Ford. Second down and 10. Winston. He's got Freeman out of bounds. Teams out of the end zone. And Florida State's been lethal in scoring in the red zone. That's right. So that was stopped. Right the and Shaw will be the slot man. Mincy's all alone at the bottom with Benjamin. Mincy has trailed him all game long. Incomplete. And penalty flags are thrown as Chris Davis with coverage in the end zone. And the flags come immediately. Pass interference. Defense number 11. The foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the ball will be placed at the two-yard line. These, first down. Brent, these defensive backs have played well in press coverage most of the night. He's got his left arm wrapped around him. There's no question it's the right call by the officials. It's tight coverage initially, and then he grabs on to him. It's a good call. And Florida State picks, you know, Gus Malzahn was trying to get a timeout before the ball was even snapped there. He was running down the sideline trying to get the officials' attention. From the two-yard line with a timeout, you wonder if Jimbo would go ahead and run it. He's put Winston up under center. No, throw it. In zone, jump ball. Touchdown. You know who he went for, number one. Kelvin Benjamin. Brent, Hatt, he comes off the play fake. Look how high he puts the ball in the air for the 6'5 receiver. That's a mismatch. Chris Davis is a good player. He's 5'11", 200 pounds. They know exactly where this ball is going. Benjamin comes to the inside. The ball is high. He's done that all year. He high points the ball with his soft hands. Perfectly thrown ball by Jameis Winston. And a go-ahead score for the Knowles. On that drive, folks, the Heisman Trophy winner, Jameis Winston, was 6 of 7. There's a penalty flag. 6 of 7. For 77 yards start. and Offense the touchdown. Five yard penalty, retry. So the BCS era is coming to an end with one of its best championship games ever. What is it about the Rose Bowl? Texas, USC. And now Florida State and Auburn taking it down to the closing minute with the Knowles pushing across the touchdown. Tacking on the extra point. Brent, I thought you made a great observation about, hey, with a timeout, maybe run the football right away. They knew what they wanted to do by trying to get, we kept waiting for Benjamin. We kept waiting. They get down inside that 10 yard line. You know he's a factor and this is why. They do such a great job of finding a matchup and putting it up there. And even if you know it's coming because of his size and because of where he puts it, it's very, very difficult to defend. And as I look across the fabric of this Auburn Tiger football season, 13 seconds on the clock, I'm gonna say the Tigers have got him right where they want him. Yeah, Nick Marshall saying, just give me the ball. You, know, you never know. <laughs> yeah.
more tip pass ever made. We'll see. Davis comes out. Chris Davis as one of the return men, along with Juan Bray. But they're up against one of the best legs in college football. The Lou Groza Award winner, Roberto Aguayo. And he's only a red shirt freshman. Davis is coming out. Down at the 16-yard line with nine ticks of the clock left. And let's see how deep the safeties are against Gus Malzahn's play call here. Remember Gus telling us a couple of days ago on that play against Georgia that he the ball went in the air because he thought there was a crossing route where he had to, to throw and he ended up throwing it deep and he said he actually turned away in frustration thinking that it would not work out and of course the tip ball ended up going into the hands of the receiver Ricardo Lewis for the touchdown and Ricardo of course had said to the quarterback throw it to me and coach was open on the dig <laughs> and the rest is history Timmy Jernigan has come back in and a timeout is going to be called. So now the defensive coordinator, Pruitt, and the offensive folks on the other side. You know, quarterback Damian Craig over there on that Auburn coaching staff, he works with the quarterbacks. He was actually recruited by Jimbo Fisher when Jimbo was the quarterback coach at Auburn. He was working for Terry Bowden. And he was a redshirt freshman when Auburn went 11 and 0. There he is. And Jimbo Fisher actually gave Damian Craig his first chance as a coach, graduate assistant at LSU, when Jimbo worked with Nick Saban. And then he hired him down in Tallahassee last year. And now here is Damian against Jimbo coming down to his quarterback with nine seconds. Of course, very influential in getting Jameis Winston also to, to go to Florida State. Marshall. Fires sideline and incomplete and out of bounds. And now three ticks left on what will go down as one of the most incredible seasons in the history of the SEC, regardless, regardless of whether or not they win tonight. We will always remember those moments with the Auburn Tigers, and they played their hearts out tonight against a heavily favored Florida State team. And the celebration is about to begin. Last play. Here comes the lateral. Hook and ladder. Give it back. Throw it across the field. And let's see if Mason can take it down the sideline. Cuts to the middle. Florida State rules the BCS. A dramatic second half comeback by the Knowles. Let's party, Tallahassee. Let's have some fun. And there is Damian Craig, who we were talking about, embracing Jameis Winston. And as Herbie said, Damian, who played at Auburn, helped bring Winston south of the border down Florida way. Two teams went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Auburn got its wish. They got the Knowles into the fourth quarter, but they couldn't stop them. A hundred-yard kickoff return, and then the Heisman Trophy winner goes six to seven, 77 yards, and the winning toss to big Kelvin Benjamin. Auburn and Gus Malzahn, Brent, deserve a lot of credit for the way they came into this game. Such heavy underdogs, not a lot of people thinking that they could compete with the talented Florida State team. They played with an edge. They were well prepared on both sides of the ball at the end. 
You just got to give credit to Jimbo Fisher and the Knowles. They kept their composure, and they won the second half. It's something new for them. They outscored Auburn 24 to 10 in the second half. We're used to seeing Auburn do that, but tonight it's Jameis Winston and Jimbo Fisher.